so much candy. Hey there guys, this is Samantha and today I have for you guys a October wrap up and November TBR. Let me go right off the bat and just tell you guys my what did she buy this time section of my video because I really want to show you guys what I got. The first thing I bought was the Loot Crate, which I had a video of me unboxing, which I will link down below so you guys can watch that. The And I'm wearing one of the things from it right now. Isn't it pretty? So awesome, I noticed. And next, I bought these earrings. I don't know if you can see them or if I'm showing them in the frame, but they're little Harry Potter earrings to add to my collection of obsession. Yeah. And then next... You guys know that today is the day after Halloween, so all of the candy is on sale. Oh, so much flipping candy. I will be set for the rest of my life because of all of this. Ha. Huh. So much cavities. I'm going to have them all. All of the cavities. So let me get on to the wrap up section of my video. So. Let's begin. Quite honestly, I don't exactly remember which order I read all of these in, but I'll try and get it in the right order of how I read them and everything, but I guarantee nothing. Also, I'm not going to give an, uh, a review of all of these books. I'm just going to go zoom on through all of them because I have all of the weekly updates on them, and um, you can just go look at all of those. I'll post all of them below too. I still haven't done my last one for this month, but when I post that one, I'll put a link down below as well once I get to that. So yeah, I'll start with that now. The first two books that I read were Impulse and Perfect and by Ellen Hopkins, like every other book that I read this month. I also read Identical by Ellen Hopkins. I read Burned and Smoke by Ellen Hopkins. I read Tricks by Ellen Hopkins, Triangles and Tilts by Ellen Hopkins, Collateral by Ellen Hopkins, Rumble by Ellen Hopkins, Crank and Glass by Ellen Hopkins. And then lastly there is Fallout. I have not finished it and I'm so disappointed in myself but I'm almost done with it so the my last Ellen Hopkins update will probably be about Monday night-ish maybe because I'm I ain't reading tonight I have other plans and and then my plans are gonna make my Sunday quite miserable so I probably won't read Sunday either but I will finish this soon mmm I'm so disappointed I didn't finish this but hey I finished 12 and 3 quarters of a of books 12 and 3 quarter books. That is a lot. Like, I that I can't even fathom that. I never read that much. Ever. Oh my gosh. This cat has been winding his his self around my body this entire video so far. And it has bothered the bejesus out of me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And now, on to my TBR for November. One of the books that I plan on reading this month is the short stories of zombies. I wanted to start this a few days ago because to get into the Halloween spirit, but I have not gotten to it yet. And I quite frankly, I don't think that I will finish all of this this month because I'm not, I quite I probably won't be reading it all at once. But I'm going to try and read quite a bit of this this month. The next book that I'm going to be reading is Ashes of Twilight by Cassie Taylor. I don't really remember what this book is about because I bought it so long ago, but I know that it's they're, they're, the people in here are living in a domed city and I don't really know what else there is about this book. But I've had it for so long and I decided that I really really need to read this, so that's going to be happening this month. The next book that I'm going to be reading this month is The Gunsling Gunslinger by I just forgot Stephen King's name. I blanked on his name. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm ashamed. But I'm going to be reading this. Don't really know what it's about, quite frankly. I keep saying quite frankly. I don't know what happened to quite honestly. I don't know. But I don't really know what this book is about. But I'm going to read it because I know shame, shame on me, but I've never read a Stephen King book. 
but I'm gonna change that. I keep meaning to change it, but I just have so much books to read that I don't want to buy them unless I know that I'm gonna like them. And I just can't make myself go to the library and get a book when I have all of these books I have to read. So I'm gonna be reading this book. First Stephen King book. Yeah. The next book I'm going to be reading is the Stories of the Raxura, which is one of the books that I won. And um, I'll probably be reading the first book in the series that this is the novellas for, but I don't have it right now, so I'm not really going to count that in this. But I'm probably going to read this one first just to see if I like it and all of that good stuff. So super excited about reading this. Next, I'm going to be reading Tweak by Nick Sheaf. Chef? I don't know. He actually just published another book and it was the schizo book. This is basically an autobiography of his life and all of his issues with the drugs and the stuff like that and then him getting his way out of it. I assume getting his way out of it because he wrote another book so he must be doing pretty good for himself now. Next I'm going to be reading a book that I'm very far behind on because everyone else have already, has already read this but I have not and I'm super excited to read it because it is basically my life. I'm going to be reading Fangirl by Rainbow. Last name I can't pronounce. It's like roll, roll. It's not because I can't pronounce it like I've said before. I can't make my mouth say it. It's roll, 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 roll. And the last book I'm going to be reading this month, I don't have the physical copy with me because it, I want it. Yay, I want it. But I still don't have it. And it is called It Will Always Be You by Tina Ness. And I will have a picture somewhere around here. And I won a copy from Goodreads. Goodreads, not weeds, Goodreads. And I am super excited to read it. And yep, I'm going to be reading that. I just know it's a romance, don't really know much else about it, and but it looks really good and I know other people are really excited to read it, so yeah, super excited. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching because I sure as hell love talking. I will see you next time.